uh, in REI 2023, we have come up with a wide range of product offerings from our side, uh, specifically with respect to residential, that is rooftop segment, commercial sector, in industrial, ground mount, fixed and tracker based systems and that too uh, uh, we have come up with some new products like uh, our Wari's customizable balcony PV systems where uh, we are offering our P modules along with micro inverters, AC DC cables, connectors and so on and so forth uh, so, with, so that we can meet any, any customer who is staying in apartments or buildings because they generally find this uh, uh, a problem of uh, heavy electricity bills mon on monthly basis. Second is we have also come up with half cut uniform modules. Uh, the specialty of half cut uniform module as compared to half cut uh, cell based mirror modules is uh, in case of shading conditions as we all know, uh, the uh, saving in terms of the shading losses, uh, I mean the increased energy yield uh, in case of half cut uniform uh, after our testing is around 30 to 35 percent whereas in case of if it is half cut, uh, uh, I mean mirror based modules it is around 50 percent so you can say around um, 20 15 to 20 percent of uh, more energy yield is obtained in case of half cut uniform modules we are also uh, we are uh, we have launched our ac modules so we are providing a plug and play based installation wherein you will have a micro inverter on the back of the module and you can install these modules anywhere as you want and we are already supplying now these modules on megawatt scale in some big companies in uh, us uh, which we are currently supplying so we have come up with the, uh, our highest showstopper module which is uh, N-type 715 watt pick, 22.88% module efficiency, that is our HGT module, N-type HGT module. The uh, benefits you can see for N-type HGT uh, module technology is the high power and the high module efficiency uh, and the lower degradation that is associated with it because of the lowest temperature coefficient of the material that is uh, minus 0.26% per degree Celsius. So the uh, first year degradation is around 1% because it is N-type and the year on our degradation we are giving is minus 0.38%. The product and performance warranty is around 12 and 30 years. We are currently manufacturing a bifacial modules in two configurations, glass to glass and glass to transparent back sheet. So uh, the another one, 650 watt pick is, this is all about our Plexus series M12 cell based configuration where the cell size is 210 by uh, 105 in case of half cut cell multi bus bar modules that we are using. We have also launched N-Type Topcon modules because everyone knows that N-Type Topcon have gained a significant market share. Uh, which is predicted to be around 60 to 70 percent by 2025 and we are pleased to share that we are soon coming up with a 5.4 gigawatt of n-type topcon solar cell manufacturing in-house so we'll be using our own highly efficient topcon cells in our n-type topcon modules so we have currently launched our 700 watt pick n-type topcon modules allied series uh, this is for m12 132 cell based glass to glass module uh, we are also offering glass to transparent back sheet modules because in india in rooftops segment people uh, generally prefer glass to transparent back sheet modules so we have this and the uh, advantages you can see is uh, high power high efficiency high bifacialty uh, gain that is 80 plus or minus 5 percent in case of topcon as compared to perk which is around uh, 70 plus or minus 5 percent so that means what do you mean by bifacialty factor or bifacialty gain that is the your rear power ratio of rear power to front power so you get more energy more yield out of a single module so basically it reduces our levelized cost of electricity for around three to four percent and it also uh, gives you uh, uh, better return on investment and smaller payback period so we are working with next trackers our modules are compatible with next tracker and different uh, big uh, tracker manufacturing companies uh, for their, uh, their their preference is glass to glass topcon m10 144 cell based modules so we are like our out of our 100% 90 more than 90% goes to export uh, our, our export modules to us europe uh, european segment and um, for the indian market we have specifically launched our m12 series because in india weight or module size is not that, that a concern which is a big concern in us markets Uh, we have also come up with our all black modules because uh, many people want to be aesthetic they are very much uh, specific with respect to the aesthetics of the buildings and the um, uh, apartments so we have also come up with our specifically designed frameless 
BIPV and BAPV modules in M10 configurations in all cell base 108 to 132 which is the most preferable sector. Uh, we have also uh, uh, some of the biggest clients in India also for BIPV segment in Chennai, Mumbai and so on and so forth. Uh, we have already um, done one megawatt of NTPC project uh, in floating PV system uh, in uh, Kawasan Surat and uh, we are also coming up with new floating PV uh, uh, EPC systems as well as the modules speci uh, specifically designed for uh, solar PV applications. Soon we will be launching a white paper on uh, this floating PV systems and uh, how these modules are beneficial if you are uh, using a monofacial module versus a bifacial module with fixed tilt, with tracker, with constant training system. Well, how much gain you will be getting, all of that will be, you will be getting that information in our white paper. So in the flexible segment, uh, we have uh, we are offering like it's a unique selling point. Uh, what we did is uh, we used our flexible modules in discotheques and we made people dance over it for around two to three hours. And then we did the entire testing on performance testing of those modules. And we uh, the result was quite surprising as compared to conventional module where 50% of power reduction was obtained. In our flexible module range, 92% of power was still available post people dancing on the modules for two to three hours in the discotheque. Uh, the beauty of the flexible range is a high efficiency. So currently, uh, the maximum watt peak that we are offering in flexible range is 650 watt peaks. Accordingly, the module efficiency will be around 22.4, 22.5%. This is all with respect to the PERC technology, PERC technology cell base that we are using currently uh, in M10 configuration. If we go for uh, N-type Topcon uh, modules, we can always offer it in flexible segment also, then this module efficiency will uh, will be around 22.8%, 22.6 to 22.8% bin. So this will this much high efficiency in flexible segment, you can always use it in high speed train projects, you can use it in automobile sector as uh, we are currently supplying in the US market in heavy duty trucks and all. So we have big uh, sports uh, manufacturers also are taking our flexible segment modules. Uh, they are they can range anywhere from a very small pack of 50 watt peak to a high pack of 650 watt peak completely flexible and you can use it on curved roofs or anywhere where conventional modules cannot be deployed uh, these specific uh, flexible modules are high efficiency highly reliable extend with extended performance and reliability testing done we are the only company with NABL accredited laboratory dedicated extensive performance and reliability testing can be performed in that we are also associated with pv cycle for the entire cradle to grave concept of pv recycling of the modules and also uh, we are we are the pvel top performer for the year 2022 and 2023 consecutive for all uh, our m10 bifacial module product ranges so uh, in all the testings like dh and tc then and and such kind of all tests uh, our modules have been outperformed so we are a PVL uh, top winner uh, for 2022 and 2023 for two consecutive years and we have 40 plus global certifications. Currently in India, if you'll see as compared to China, we lack because mainly uh, the cell fabrication or you say the wafer, the heart of the module is the cell. And like there are few manufacturers who are manufacturing cell, but still the cell quality depends upon the wafer. The wafer again quality depends upon the ingot that has been manufactured. So this is basically that's why uh, Wadi is among the few companies who have uh, won uh, the PLI scheme and the PLI scheme the, uh, of the government. We have got a grant of around 1900 crore rupees for developing our wafer and cell uh, segment of six gigawatts. But uh, we are coming up with a huge capacity more than this uh, where we will be having our own wafer developed then our own uh, cell manufactured and based on it our modules manufactured. So on the innovation front we can say that we are still developing uh, in terms of doing research on cell basis, in terms of when we will start uh, manufacturing cell, then we will realize what we can do on material research side prospect, uh, prospective, wherein the cell efficiency can be improved as well as the qualities, whatever the cell quality issues on mass production there are a lot of cell quality issues that different manufacturers are facing and because of it a lot of cell gets rejected so how we can minimize these issues will be a challenge and i think this is uh, the main two prospects wherein people are looking for uh, high uh, cell efficiency and the cost effectiveness associated with it 
perovskites is an emerging technology but perovskites still finds limitation because of many issues like the chemical uh, stability uh, I, that means the absorber material finalization then the stability issue because the life maximum life that is reached for perovskites is 10 years which has been launched by oxford now but as you see globally also the life cycle of this perovskite based material is 5 to 10 years and we are we have our cells for 30 years so we would like to uh, this technology to be more uh, advanced people are there who is working on the research level for this uh, particular prospect so we see that by 2026 maybe perovskite will have a greater boom in terms of development in terms of stability in terms of performance better performance and reliability and then we can think of tandem junction based solar cells also uh, being used in our modules